Hey everyone, welcome to a, another episode. I said I was going to do this off and on of what I call the Sonic Comics Plus, in which I basically talk about things in the Sonic comic as well as things unrelated to the comic by talking about other things like other comics or situations around them. Or even movies or games or whatever. So anyway, so anyway, uh, yesterday um, I actually saw, well actually the 20th, we saw the five page preview, if you will, or a few three to five page preview for issue 218. And then a uh, member on the Sonic Stadium message board got their issue the next day, believe it or not. I think they got it the next day. I don't know how they did that, seeing as though it was shipped out on the 20th. And basically, they gave the spoilers. They gave a summary, if you will, of what takes place. Now, for some of you that may not know what takes place yet, or for some of you that may have read the summary, a lot of you, like myself, may have guessed exactly what happened. I mean, I'm not going to say what happens, but all I'm going to say is that we kind of figured something like this along the lines was going to occur. Now, the only question is how impactful it will be for the characters in the near future. You know, where will it lead from here into the next issues? What will happen in future issues? The question is although I think a lot of fans have, is why Ian would even write a story like this knowing how it was going to affect the characters. Because yes, we've seen the characters, other characters in the past, have family members uh, on sides, you know, working with sides or other people, other, you know, characters that they shouldn't be working with. And yet, and yet, they always find a way to win them back. Well, let's just say we don't know exactly how Ian, what Ian's got in store for these characters after this issue, but all I know is it's very intriguing. You know, you know what, what, one of the things about one of the things about these issues, every time Archie gives us these three to five page previews, you know, it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist sometimes that just by reading the first five pages that we uh, figure out exactly what's going to happen. Now, sometimes we could be wrong about it, and sometimes, you know, we could be right. But again, like I said, I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to, um, or a genius, to understand exactly what's going to happen. But again, uh, for these characters, after reading the summary, if you will, of the issue, all I can say is I hope Ian knows what he's doing, because by doing this, by, because by having this kind of reaction and this kind of uh, conclusion, um, it kind of makes it more personal for a lot of the characters. But how personal? How will it, again? How does it affect these characters involved, and how personal does it get? And again, you know, that's up to Ian if Ian's got any plans of bringing them back. I mean, he's kind of hinted down the line that something will happen. We just don't know what. Now, I do apologize. I, I'm sorry I stopped there for a minute because I was thinking. But I do apologize if I'm kind of talking in circles here or not making any sense. I don't want to give her any give away any spoilers. And uh, just to let you know, I'm going to probably try something real soon. It's a little bit more different than what you guys are accustomed to. You know, usually you're accustomed to me doing my reviews on the comic, on the issue. But this time I'm thinking of probably do, and then doing my opinions, right? Well, this time I think I'm going to try doing my opinions and then doing the comic. It might be a little bit more difficult, a little bit more tricky, but I'm going to try it down the line, maybe sooner than you think. Uh... But again, you know, like I said, this 218 preview and then this one uh, member on the Sonic Stadium 
as well as a member who kind of quotes the summary and puts it onto the Sega forms. Uh, I'll be honest, after reading it, you know, I think we kind of, I think anybody that's read that kind of has an idea of what Ian might have planned in the future, but again, it's more the, it's more the fact that, uh, you know, we all saw this coming. You know, we may have not seen it the way we were thinking we were going to see it, but we all saw something like this coming. Again, how is it going to affect each character personally? I don't know. On a personal level? Personally, I don't know. But I know that down the line we'll be seeing all these characters together again in a, in a, in a future issue. The question is, what choices will be made and who will side with who? You know, Ian likes to throw these curveballs and these hints and all that, but the question is exactly what's going to happen. So, anyway, that's all I'm going to say about Sonic, on the Sonic comic right now. Uh, what else is there to say? Well, well, we found out that, well, I found out by uh, watching the movie buzz on, uh, on YouTube that uh, there's a new director for the Wolverine 2 sequel. It's going to take place in Japan. Now this guy, I can't think of the movies that he did, they mentioned them, but it's, this guy is more of a person that focuses on drama, uh, dramatic situations, and really making a picture very powerful. So I'm just thinking if maybe that's what the focus is going to be for the sequel to Wolverine. If it's going to be, I mean, it, it, yeah, it will have action, there's no doubt about it, but how much emphasis on the action will we get and how, more, how much more emphasis will we get on the, uh, on the drama and all that that takes place within? You know, I guess we'll find out soon, but, you know, it's kind of cool to hear about this director. I, don't, I can't think of his name right now, but he's a, he's a good director. He's, he's, done, he's done some good work from what I've heard and seen. Uh, what else? Well, not much. I mean... Oh yeah, um, the hub. Let's talk about the hub for a second. Uh, the hub's actually a pretty good station, a good channel. And uh, in case you don't know about this, if I don't know what if it comes on what, at the same time or not, but around nine o'clock Pacific time here, they have on the weekdays, or basically Monday through Thursday, they have Transformers and GI Joe from basically nine p.m. and nine thirty. Transformers at 9, G.I. Joe at 9.30, at night. So, you know, the Hub's doing pretty good there. I saw some of the new shows uh, today, some of the newer revamps or revisions, if you will, like the Pony Show and the Pound Puppy Show, and they look interesting, they look intriguing, so we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, the Pony Show looks like it's going to be more of a my Little Pony version of the Winx Club, almost. <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, but really, that's all I have to say. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Sonic, this new episode of Sonic Comics Plus. Got any comments, let me know, and I'll talk to you all later.